everybody. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. Nice to have you along for the ride. Not County in our match today. Now face Wickham Wanderers. Well, Wickham Wanderers, they're in fine fettle and looking for another win after that home success against Leighton Orient. Fantastic 4-0 win. Strikers were on fire. Maybe a draw, though, today against a good side. Ashley Boroughbridge is the match official today in charge of this game. So we start with the kickoff, and I must say, both of us up here are really looking forward to this match. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Don't always see it these days. Two up front, 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, and good to see because uh, those two boys up front, they have got a good partnership, a good understanding. Now the shot! And that's deflected behind. It will be a corner. possession here goal news from Yeovil it's a goal for Yeovil Town seven minutes played and here's the shot driven goalwards volleyed goalwards and there it is the goal a goal here to savour well the goalkeeper did his very best but I think he might have regrets that he didn't get hold of that The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. So the first goal, it's 1-0. touch and the possession's gone away what we've got in this game Alan is a visiting team that won't be phased by the atmosphere in this ground because they know they can defend it's a wonderful asset to have isn't it on the road coming to a, a ground like this and to know that you really have got a good defense the cloud a little too eager to get in behind the opposition caught offside Seen a pass, cut it out, and in the wing area now can maybe attack. Well, he tried to find his man, but he's only put the ball into touch. Well, that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. And shoots! Well, he lost his footing at the crucial moment. It seemed that way. It's a slippery old surface down there, and you've got to get your feet sorted out properly. The away team have won their last five games. But uh, on this ground against this opposition, to make it six is going to be a test. It will be, but this is a team that tends to, to keep the ball, and it tends to take the sting out of the situation. So that's what's helped them this year. shot off now terrific stop that's going to be a corner shots on here and that will clear the danger it's Stewart the shot's on and that one's hit the crossbar on the way out Now the 
shot. And he had the shot following that corner kick. Well, I think they've practiced that one, and the opposition will be ready for it next time. That's a bad pass. He's given it straight to the opposition. They've lost the ball. Wood. And here's the shot. He's kept it out. Couldn't keep his balance on this difficult surface. It's a greasy ball. We've had quite a bit of rain. Not an easy one to control. They tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. Shot on! Found the crossbar in the way. It's a chance missed, really. Shoots! He's just reached it, the goalkeeper. Here's Bennett. It's a diagonal ball to switch the play here. is in and he claims the cross it was well it's nothing's ever straightforward for goalkeepers but and that's half time signaled by the referee one nil the half time score a drastic uh, decision here from the manager to use all the substitutes that he's allowed in one go 45 minutes to go as we start the second half Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercept. Buck! Oh, and it's very nearly the equaliser. Jakobsen. We can go to Alamachinali now for news of a goal from elsewhere. It's a second goal for the home team. 51 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Hewitt. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Well, the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Didn't hit it cleanly at all. Robert Milsom, goal news from York. It's a second goal for York City. 58 minutes played, 2 2. Thank you very much, Alan. They put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper. Again, oh, well, credit for the effort, the intention, but the technique was poor. Number four, Alan Smith.
him again. They were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. And he scored from that distance. It's an incredible strike. Good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Restarting at 2-0. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for the home team. 72 minutes played, 4-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Alan Smith. Substitution now for the home team. And they've got to score soon. Well, the time for patient short passing has stopped, I think. Because route one is the order of the day now as they load the box. to the goal has gone with that clearance he got the last touch the defender so that will be a corner well, he's taken a touch there of the defender it will be a corner well you have to have the uh, the pain to get the gain and they've suffered these supporters sometimes but it's gained to the shot off useful block in those circumstances well, that's straight at the goalkeeper It's 82 minutes played now. And now the shot! Well, he's not managed it this time, but having scored in the game, I'm sure he'll keep on trying. Well, he should do, because he's, he's had a decent game out there and uh, his confidence should be high after that earlier goal. Quick header, found a teammate. A good place to win the ball back there because the pressure was starting to mount and the interception was timely to say the least good stop by the goalkeeper now Stewart Place another two minutes added on by the referee. Here's Bennett. Robert Milsom. And that's it, last blast on the whistle from the referee. Great day for them to win the game and keep the opposition out yeah it was job done wasn't it the opposition weren't at their best today but you still have to beat them